everyone, this is Cindy with Crane of the Heart and I'm back with another flip book. Now, the theme for this one was putting on the Ritz, which was, um, I don't know, it was a little bit more difficult than I guess I thought it was going to be, but no worries. I think I did okay. I did use this paper pad from My Mind's Eye that I had gotten at Michael's. So it had mostly blacks and golds and peaches. So it was kind of perfect for this project. Now what I did was I used um, envelopes, five by five or five and a half by five and a half square envelopes to make the flip book. And I did try and create a little bit of a gusset so that um, it would close properly. Now on the front cover, I actually used two images from the Cricut Art Deco <clears throat> cartridge. I don't have this cartridge, so I just bought these two images. They were 99 cents a piece um, because I, I thought about buying the whole the cartridge, um, but I found a font that I already owned that um, worked really well with the Art Deco look, so I decided just to buy these two images. And I cannot remember for the life of me what this font is from. I want to say it's in the L's, one of the library fonts. I don't know. So I used a font that I already had that kind of had that art deco look and just says Ritz on it. And then I have a um, Velcro closure. When you open it up, I actually pulled out my mink. So I used some of the mink product that I had bought on clearance a while back. For this project, I made my own um, bow here. And then this is just various mink, uh, Heidi Swap mink products that I went ahead and I foiled in gold. And this is one that actually comes, this adventure I think actually comes um, in the starter kit for you to try out the mink when you first get it. Okay, so when I open it up on this side, I used one of these little mink envelopes. It kind of ripped right here. Huh? Anyway, inside are just some goodies. I'm actually not going to open it up, but they're um, not a lot of things. I, I tend to not put a lot of things, giveaways in my flip. I find that when people do that, I get a lot of junk. Okay, I get a lot of junk. And I prefer to put some nice pieces in here that people would really probably use. So there are some minked uh, chipboard pieces in here mostly. And... Uh, a little piece of this paper that I had left that could be reused for a project. So I, I try not to put junk in there. Um, and then here's another little minked piece that I did. And then here I've got a Prima doll that I went ahead and colored up her hair and I pieced a dress for her. And then I had those um, like Sade and Crystals that are made for the dolls. I actually only had one pack of those it looks like. And um, this one is the one that I chose, this necklace, for her. And then you can't see it really well because it kind of blends in with the gold, but they're gold letters from Heidi Swap that say hello. And then this is actually a piece that I did receive in a swap, but I also have it. It's from Michaels. It's in the $1.50 section at Michaels. It's a whole bunch of, like, tags and various ephemera that's in these colors and so I just tied some ribbon and put that there and then here I have another minked piece with uh, a minked foiled um, arrow and then in here I have an envelope which I'm going to put my uh, letter so I may or may not do some lettering here that says letter or something um, I haven't decided because it doesn't I mean it barely fits in here closed so I don't want to create any bulk because it just like barely fits. And then I've got um, a washi sample here. I used some funky trim that I had gotten in another um, swap. And then I've got some washi samples here that can then be used by the person any way that they would like. And that just fits right in there. And then it just closes up. And I'm very pleased with myself. I think that I really accomplished the putting on the Ritz theme, which um, really was harder than I thought, but that's the reason why I chose to do this one because I thought it was gonna be a little bit more challenging and it was definitely 
fun. I think it came out really well. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy Crane with the Heart.